New Mexico's biggest rivalry basketball game was back tonight after more than a year. It was the first time the men's teams have faced off after a deadly shooting on UNM's campus last year. News 13's Marilyn Upchurch joins us with more on tonight's game and how fans were feeling. Alexa, fans were excited for the big game between the two rivals with UNM coming out on top. Many saying it was a sense of starting new and enjoying the rivalry again safely. We're just excited to be here as alum and having a student at New Mexico State. So, you know, we always support our logo, our Lobos, but tonight we're going to be supporting our Aggies. An exciting night for UNM and NMSU fans. We were all excited this week to, you know, have the rivalry games, and that's always a blast whenever we have NMSU and UNM uh, definitely here in the same stadium and everything. So. It's one of the biggest games of the year for both programs. The pit packed with about 15,000 fans tonight. This is the first time these two teams have played against each other in more than a year after a pause last year because of a deadly shooting that happened less than 24 hours before the rivalry basketball game. It left one UNM student dead and a former Aggie basketball player injured. UNM's athletic director said this matchup was a way to start fresh and show that the Rio Grande rivalry can be conducted in a safe and respectful way. This is a great chance for both programs to really um, set, set, set a tone, set a message for everybody out there that this is fun to compete against each other. We do this because we have pride in our institutions. The pit added more safety features last year, like metal detectors. Those were active tonight, as well as more security staff on deck. It's a tradition here in New Mexico. Being local, uh, there's nothing like basketball in the pit. These women's basketball teams also played earlier today at the pit. Sports will have more on that game later on in the show. Back to you. All right, thanks, Marilyn. The men's game was nearly sold out.